Hi, my name is Jerry Rhodes. I'm a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to walk you through a tagging demo. Here we are at the AWS console. This should look familiar to many of you. If not, welcome to the AWS console. We're going to go into the EC2 console under the compute section of the console. And here on the left, uh, under EC2 dashboard, we can click on tags. And this is a list of all the tags that we have in the Northern Virginia region of any resource that we've tagged. Clicking on the dashboard, I'm gonna go over to running instances under resources. And these are all of my instances that are running or stopped in the Northern Virginia region. So for an example, I'm gonna click on this uh, Active Directory Domain Controller. I can tell that from the name tag that is associated with it. And I'm gonna go down uh, on the fourth tab, titled tags. And these are a list of tags that have been associated with that EC2 instance. What I'm going to do next is show you how to create one. However, I'm not going to create a tag in Northern Virginia. I want to tag something in Oregon and be able to associate it with um, instances that I have running in US East. So I'm going to switch over to Oregon. And then I'm going to go over to EC2. And I don't have any running instances. However, I do have stopped instances. And I can tag a stopped instance. I go down to tags. And what I want to do is I want to create a tag with a key value of lab ID and a value of ADFS lab. You notice I have a mix of uh, capital and lowercase letters. This is case sensitive. So lab ID in lowercase and lab ID in uppercase, they have two separate meanings. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. And what I'd like to introduce you to is the resource group. In the resource group console, I can go through and take a look at resources that I have tagged. In this case, I am looking at a tag with a key of lab ID and a value of ADFS lab. And I have defined uh, three regions that I'm looking in, which is US East, uh, Ireland, which is the EU West, and US West, Oregon. And in here, I can take a look at the instances that I have tagged. And let me sort on region. And you'll see the Yene.mobi web server that we tagged in Oregon shows up along with all of the US East and the EU West resources. In addition, I can also tag the EDS volumes. I can do, I can have multiple tags. So I tagged a name, I named all of my volumes to associate it with the EC2 instance that it is associated with. And I also use the lab ID and ADFS lab, a key value pair, so that I could get uh, I could get it all up into the resource group console. I've also tagged a bucket with the lab ID key and value pair of lab ID and ADFS lab, so that it shows up. I don't have a VPC tagged. Let me show you how to tag one of those VPCs going to go back into Northern Virginia where that VPC that I'm going to tag lives and click on the VPC console. Here we're going to check on the uh, VPC console and within the VPC console the VPC that interests me is the one with the key of name and the value of movieapp.net. Down below I'm going to click on the third tab which is the tags tab click on edit and I'm going to add my tag and then I'll save and we'll go back to the main console and we'll select ADFS lab from the resource group console and I have a VPC if we click on VPC there's the VPC that we just tagged for more information on the two uh, 
topics that I demonstrated. There's the tagging your Amazon EC2 resources section of the EC2 user guide. And you can see the URL below. And the next thing that I want to show you that you can do with tagging has to do around uh, cost allocation tax. So if we go over to the billing and cost management console and we click on cost allocation tags, we will see that I have checked off name, billing, and lab ID. And if you want to scroll through the list of tags, every tag that I have associated with the account, not the region, but with the account, the overall account, I can select from. So in this in this case, I have chosen name, billing, and lab ID. These uh, keys and their associated values will show up in the detailed billing report. And I have a copy of my detailed billing report right here. And if you see, there's a lot of information on here. But like most of you, I'm sure you just really want to know who's using what. The easiest way to find that is to take a look. You see the user-defined tags, which in this case are billing, lab ID, and name. So we're going to look at the billing column. And here you can see the different billing codes, the 1, 2, 3, and the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, as well as the lab ID. Because in some cases, I may have a lab, I may have multiple labs that are being used by one account. So therefore, I'm able to go through and I'm able to track spend based upon a billing code or a billing code and lab ID combination to figure out uh, which groups or which projects are uh, what they're spending on EC2 resources. More information on cost allocation tags can be found at the URL below which is part of the account billing and cost management user guide. And the URL is at the bottom of the screen. This concludes today's demonstration of how to use tagging for resource groups and cost allocation tagging. Thank you.